Last August, in a windy field in central Iowa, there were two goldfinch birds, Mother and Papa, who wanted to have baby goldfinches. Mother said, I have found the perfect place to have our babies, and it is in a tree where the branches are strong and will protect us from the windy fields we live in. Papa Bird watched over Mother and protected her from other predators, while she built a strong nest out of bark and bits of plants. After about a week of building the nest, Mother was ready to lay the eggs. She and Papa were very excited to have their babies. Mother laid five eggs all together. They were small and light blue, and they looked like healthy eggs. Mother was hoping that all of her baby birds would be healthy and strong, so she sat on those eggs and kept them warm and protected for two weeks. Papa wanted to make sure Mother wouldn't be hungry, so he scouted out plant seeds they liked to eat, like elm and birch tree seeds, and the seeds from grasses in the field while she kept the eggs warm and safe. Papa watched over the area and yelled at other birds and animals to go away if they got too close to Mother and the nest. On the first day of the third week, the baby goldfinches started to hatch from their eggs. They worked so hard to get out of those blue shells. All of the baby goldfinches were naked and had no feathers, and their eyes were still closed. Mother kept the baby goldfinches safe while Papa went out to get seeds for everyone to eat. During the second week, the babies started stretching their wings, and they told Mother, We are ready to leave the nest. Will you take us out? Mother fretted and told the babies they needed to wait a couple more days. They waited and waited and waited. Finally, when the babies were 14 days old, Mother said, Children, you have waited, and Papa and I agree that you are ready to fly. Is everyone ready? The babies shouted with excitement, We are ready! We can't wait to fly! One by one, each baby goldfinch left the nest. Mother taught them where to find seeds and how to stay safe in their windy fields. As the babies grew up, they all decided to build their own nest in the fields where they were born. They stayed close to home and met often to talk about their days and make plans with each other. One by one, each of the goldfinches had their own babies and they all lived happily ever after. The End